hi guys welcome back to ps desert in this video i will show you how to turn a photo into a painting and that can be a fascinating effect to apply in photoshop it's a popular choice among many photographers and digital artists while there is no direct option in generative field to make a photo look like a painting but there is a clever workaround that can achieve a similar result so here is the step-by-step -step video guide for you start by opening your desired image in photoshop Kindly make a note that landscapes and open scenes tend to work best for this technique. Now access the channels panel by clicking on channels tab. Duplicate the blue channel by dragging it onto create new channel icon. With the duplicated blue channel active, apply a Gaussian blur to blur the details. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and select a reasonably large radius value. For instance, my image is 6000 pixels wide, so a value around 45 pixels should work well. Once done, click OK. Now we need to make a selection for blue copy. To utilize the channel as a selection, hold the command or control key and click on the channel thumbnail in the channels panel. The primary objective here is to load the image as a selection while keeping the selected pixels invisible. For optimal results, it is beneficial to have a soft and somewhat dark selection mask. To achieve this, use adjustment layers to reduce the contrast and darken the channel if needed. Next, go to image, adjustments and select brightness, contrast. Darken the channel and lower the contrast accordingly. You can also utilize curves or levels adjustment for this purpose. Now press Ctrl or Command plus D to deselect the selection. Again hold the control or command key and click on the channel thumbnail to make the selection invisible. In case a small portion remains visible, I'm going to adjust the contrast and brightness once more. You can also utilize curves or layers adjustments for this purpose. Now press control or command plus D to deselect the selection. Again hold the control or command key and click on the channel thumbnail. Now you should have the desired selection. If you encounter a warning about invisible pixels, simply click OK to dismiss it. The image is still loaded as a selection, but it is invisible. So here is the tip for you. You should try using both gradients and solid fills on alpha channel to see how brightness affects the style. It's even possible to paint directly on the channel for more specific control. Click back on the RGB channel in the channels panel. In the channels panel, click on generate to fill and enter a style prompt. For instance, I choose watercolor painting. Click on generative button and wait for the results. It will provide you results within just few seconds and the results should be pleasing. Keep in mind that the outcome may vary based on your image and the familiarity of generative field with a specified style. Patience and experimentation are key here and it's advisable to change only one element at a time to assess the impact. These results are looking very good. For example, you can modify the prompt to oil painting and generate another result. The generated oil painting outputs are also looking very good and usable. This technique showcases one way to transform a photo into a painting using Photoshop's AI generative fill. There is another method also to achieve this effect. Check out my channel for more painting tutorials. I hope you find this trick helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more Photoshop tips, tricks and tutorials. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share and comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and happy editing.